Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 17, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we did hit major support down here at the 50 moving week average. This has also been where we have found a major support in the past. We can see it right here. We can also see it right here. And after those um, basically major uh, testing of the major support, we have rallied quite significantly in most of the cases. Also down here, also here, and so on. So I don't think that we are going to rally all the way to the top straight away. I wouldn't be surprised if we had a pullback on Monday. We are... Um, closing a top of the above the middle of the Bullinger band which is a fairly good sign and we have a crossing here of the stochastic uh, which is bullish and the RSI is very bullish CCI is becoming bullish and the MACD is becoming flat here and it turned around so that is also indication of this going uh, becoming bullish but we had two really good days uh, where this rallied significantly um, to the upside but but um, pullback on Monday wouldn't be surprising if uh, if uh, that occurred. If we were to pull back, then the 50 or the, middle, or the bottom of the bullish band would also be a major support. Um, if we rally to the upside, then we have give or take a 4,200 is going to be major resistant. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones also rallied significantly um, yesterday and also today. Found major support down here at the 50 moving average. This entire week has been like, like a, a constant reminder of inflation. So it's possible to move markets if you just um, tell horror stories constantly over and over and over again. But the last 11 years, if you're paying attention to those markets, last 11 years, the market has been focused on one thing, and that is liquidity and uh, not inflation. Uh, there have been periods where we have pullbacks and you have said inflation is going to come and so on. Uh, but this kind of inflation that we are witnessing now is not due to, uh, to monetary policy technically. That will take much longer time. That takes two, three years in order to come to infect. This mainly due to a shortage of, of, uh, of um, materials due to uh, we basically closed down the entire world economy and now we're just starting all over again and course there will be shortages everywhere and therefore prices will increase significantly and and there's a lot of demand people don't really know how much should we buy and so on people are buying probably too much and and so on so it will take a period until uh, the world economy stabilizes again and gets to um to um to see how the world economy basically is working now after the the the, uh, the coronavirus which technically isn't over yet. But we did news manage to basically get this market to completely fall apart the last, these uh, three trading days, and then we hit bottom, and then we rallied. And if this was such a massive problem for the market, we would see this market dropping all the way to the 200 moving average. That's not what we're seeing. We're just seeing this market fall towards support, as we have done numerous times the last year, Falling to support, and of course, this was a massive fall in this was in October. But since then, continuation falling towards the 50 moving average has been holding. And as long as the um, Fed is uh, keeping their monetary policy and mon money is cheap, this will just continue rallying to the upside. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the RSI is bullish and the CCI is becoming bullish and the stochastic is bullish, giving it crossing the signal line. Well, the MACD is still underneath the signal line and is, is of course, a lagging indicator. So it will uh, eventually uh, rally above the signal line and become bullish as well. We'll most likely find major resistance up here at uh, uh, 34,700, uh, give or take, and the uh, bottom of the bullish band or the 50 moving average down here at the 33,500 is most likely going to be major, uh, major support. So let's look at the NASDAQ. Yes, so this is quite um, very similar. If you uh, talk for a constant uh, 
two weeks about the inflation going to uh, set fire to the world economy, then yes, you'll f- get a fall like this. People will start panicking and selling and so on. Uh, we could have dropped towards a 200 moving average, but we didn't. We did rally up towards a 50 moving average. We did take out these previous highs, which is also a very bullish sign. But we did not manage to take out the 50 moving average. So that is kind of a worrying sign. If we closed above the 50 or tested a 20 exponential, that would have been a much more bullish signal. But technical indicators are all turning around. So we have rallied quite a bit from the bottom, but uh, there is still a chance that we'll roll lower from here and head back towards the previous lows and probably the 200 moving average. That is a possibility. If we uh, we uh, continue rallying on Monday, head towards the middle of the bullish band, then yes, that could basically happen. But last time we tested the fifth and middle of the bullish band, we basically broke down substantially. So we could have another day where we rally and then drop lower before uh, rallying towards 40,000. That is possible. It is There is more risk in the NASDAQ than there is in the other indices. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX has rallied significantly from the bottom. This was a massive move yesterday. I thought this was going to drop all the way down to the 200 moving average. It kind of dropped 2% in like a few seconds and then it rallied again creating this um, this hammer here which was a really bullish shine and now we are at 15,500 nearly if we manage to break above that then we're most likely going to head towards 16,000 technical indicators are all turning around MACD has almost crossed the signal line so this was a massive move to the offside but still we're at the same place where we have tested three two times before right here also here. So we could see this drop back towards the 50 moving average in the next uh, three trading days in next week and then continue towards the 16,000. But this is a very encouraging sign that we have tested the 50 moving average twice in only two weeks and have rallied significantly from that point. So let's look at a UK 100. Same things were for the UK 100. We hit uh, the highest here is 7,162, uh, dropped all the way to the 50 moving average, and now we're trading at 7,071. Really good move, very similar to the DAX. It opened um, by falling roughly 2% in a matter of seconds, and then rallied again, and then just continued rallying. And this is one of those indices that has not managed to to um, get back to previous COVID levels, so prior to the coronavirus. So we were all up at 7,693, and we are at 7,071 at this current stage. Also here, I think that we're going to drop back towards the middle of the bullish band before continuing higher. Technical indicators are turning around, and um, yes, it's a very, very nice run for the UK uh, 100. Mostly the next target will be 7,250. So let's look at the, the Chinese, China 50. So this was a really, really encouraging move today. We have broken above the 50 moving average. If we get another green candlestick here or close above the 50 moving average on Monday, and that's a really good signal that we are about to go to 18,000, 19,000, 20,000 and then beyond that. This has been struggling significantly down here at the 200 moving average. And at this point, it looks like we are that basically has broken. But we have done this before as well. We did also break below the 200 moving average and thought that we were going to drop to 16 and then be below that. But all of a sudden, we turned around. So, so Monday is going to kind of uh, make it clear whether or not we continue rallying or that we are just going to break back down towards the 200 moving average. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and good weekend.